Hey golf fans, this is early 1981, I do hope everyone is safe and well. So at long last we are getting round to playing the Dark Souls of the golf gaming world. It is the Predator at UF. This was designed by Christian L. Cesar and he did create this one for TGC Tour's latest major design contest. So let's get right into this one. As you can see everything is firm, firm, fast and default. We are going to be playing off of the Black Tees which are 7,000. 809 yards and pin set number one. The course is set in the swamps near the University of Florida and it is meant to be an extremely challenging course. So hole number one par four playing 392 and the first thing that does catch my eye here guys is the swamps. How on earth he has managed the texture and the colours in this water here, the, the bog, the marshland is beyond belief. But I have played this course, well, I've not played the entire 18, I played the front, or the, should I say the first 8 holes, and I got an error report, and I never really got back to it. So let's see how we do get on. I'm actually not swinging great today, not feeling my swing at all in the driving range. Um, I put a fast fast on that, unintentional fast, but it's worked out in our favour. We boomed that 294 yards despite a 12 mile per hour headwind. And that is going to leave us a sand wedge into this first green. Just deal off in this. Looking to land this just front. If the green looks like that slope should take us down towards the pin. There we go. Far better strike. That wind is really holding the ball up. Oh, are we going to get a bounce out? Tell you something, that sat down extremely quickly. And the firm fast settings but due to the wind. So we've got a tough putt from 9 feet. Green speeds are 187. This one is going to turn fairly aggressively to the left. Don't want to play this too firm. Needs to turn. Oh, it does turn and we do start off with an opening birdie. So quite a lot of you guys have demanded that I do take on this course. Like I say, I'm late to the show with this one. Hole number two, par three, playing 220 yards. Cool crocodile pit on the right-hand side. So 200. Oh, we're really in between clubs here, guys. Two iron is going to take me long, I do believe. Five hybrid. I'm just going to try and deal off this and run this up that slope, but I don't know if we're going to get there. 11 mile per hour wind will hold up the hybrid. Oh, I've pushed it slightly. That wind is really holding up. Horrible push. But no, it was never going to get there. So I do feel we were really in a a predicament there. I think the the two iron would have probably took me long. And as you can see, the way the, the green contours, we went way left down that slope. A little flop shot from 15 yards. Delicate touch. Should run out and bite. It does. Oh, that one's checked up a little bit quicker. This could be a tricky six footer. I've seen he's missed. Right edge, it does turn and we do pick up a par. So decent start, birdie par. Like I say, I have played the first, I think seven, six, seven, eight holes guys. I can't remember roughly. I will remember when we get to it. Hole number three, par four, playing 484 yards, stroke index two. This is a dog leg right, if I do recall on the tee shot if you want to use the bigger clubs. So I'm just looking to put an intentional fast on this one with an amount, fair amount of fade on this. That sounds crazy, but just looking to come over the top of this tree, touch a fade with an intentional fast to get us that distance. This could go horribly wrong. But I'm an aggressive player, don't want to be laying up even in these tricky situations. So try to get fast here. Oh, get the fast, but it's a horrible swing line. Oh, it looks like this could be absolutely stunning. The wind is going to hold us up beautifully. Now, if that wind was in my favour there, guys, i.e. a tailwind, I don't think I would have took that shot on. It probably would have been a two-wood. So, 160 yards out. Up 13 feet. Got a slope at the back we could use. I'm just trying to use that slope. The wind will hold us up. Up four yards of the elevation as well. Horrible swing line. Push right. I did say to you guys, prior to the, the round kicking off, I'm not feeling my swing today. 
and I think it's a course you don't want to be swinging purely in. Severely punished with that. That's going to leave us a monster putt from 39 feet. Up 5 inches. This one is going to be turning hard left. Setting us way right at the flag stick. I'm not sure we've played that firm enough. It's going to come up short and on the low side. But yeah, guys, if you've never heard of Dark Souls, Dark Souls is... A fantastic game. I've played the entire franchise. Um, it's a challenging game. It's a game of lack, a game of strategy, and uh, a very frustrating game, very tough, challenging game, and I think that's why a few people are referring that this course, the Predator at UF, is the Dark Souls equivalent of the golf game in world. So hole four, par five, 629 yards, nine mile per hour wind. It's setting us down the right hand side of the fairway, allowing that wind to bring us back. Once again, not the best to swing lines, but it's going to get us there. Now this is completely different because the first time I played this, the wind was in my face for these holes, so the wind completely flipped around. Same, similar wind speeds, I think I had about 7, 8. I was 2 under by this time in my previous round, but previous round doesn't matter. So I'm just trying to take this on with the 2 wood. We are going to apply some draw here. Ball's going to move hard right out of feet. Hopefully we can just get this up into the fairway. This is a brave shot. What an execution. I need a kick here. Oh, fantastic. Played it beautifully. I expected the way that was trailing. We're going to come up short. But that's going to leave us a pitch shot. From 47 yards out. Oh, I'm in between clubs here severely once again. Flop shot won't get there. I'm going to have to fully loft up this lob wedge and imagine we are going to be a little bit long. Don't want to put a slower fast than this. Ah, I've pushed it right. It's going to give us a putt for birdie. Once again, really in between clubs. But we've got a 12 foot putt down 4 inches. This one's going to turn right. The break will be slightly exaggerated due to the... The lack of speed I'm playing this at. Needs to turn. Looking good. Oh, and it does turn on our side. And we do pick up our second birdie of the round. We do move to two under par. So, hole number five. Long par four. Playing 521 yard stroke. Index 14. We've got a seven mile per hour win. So, just looking to take on the right hand side of this fairway. I would imagine it may work its way all the way over to the left. There we go, there's a laser beam. Hopefully my swing does improve as the round goes on. But played that really well. I'm not going to be showcasing this course, guys. I'm just playing this for the challenge. Um, Jim Gems covered it in absolute fantastic quality was with his high-powered PC. So if you're looking to um, go and see the, the video, or should I say the course showcase, go and check his channel out. It is an absolute beautiful course with lots of detail. So loft in this six iron up, just looking to kick this on from the fairway. Looks like it's going to kick hard right, so just aiming this way right at the flag. Allowing that wind to take us on, and hopefully it kicks on. Oh, we're going to be a little bit long. Didn't expect to be that long. Wanted to kick that on from the fairway. So that's going to be about a 20 to 25 foot putt, I would imagine, for this birdie chance. 23 footer. Breaking both ways, certainly breaking more to the left. A few of you guys have been uh, giving me tips on putting. Now, my putting has really, really improved, guys. But some of you have said, uh, I think there's a few guys. Quite a lot of the guys in the tours have calculations. So, say, um, one of the lines is moving at a certain speed. They'll rate that at a 2. If it moves quicker, it's a 4 or 5. I don't want to play like that, guys. Because then the game becomes like a calculation. Like a mathematic calculation and a science. I want to play with feel. That would really take away... The, the enjoyability games like me. If you watch some of the, the pros on the TGC tours, the better players, they're robotic. It's it's not good watching. So, 10 mile per hour wind. I think we can draw this round here. I'm just trying to really draw this round as three. Once again, guys, complete risky shot. I had to fade it the previous round, round the, the, the other side of the tree, but looking to find the fairway here with this extreme draw shot and wind combined. Decent execution. Is it going to go? Oh, it's going to get there easily. It's going to get there easily. Hopefully, we do find the fairway. 
and that is a fantastic tee shot. So you're seeing some great shot making shots here. Sweet. Really enjoying this course so far, guys. It is hole number seven, I do recall now. Hole number seven is where I got my error report and I was three under. So similar, similar round. Flop shot. Is it going to bite? Oh, I put a fast on it, but once again, horrible swing, and I have been punished with that. Not the best executions, really didn't want to put a fast on that. So we are going to have a putt from about 20 feet out. This one's going to break left from the fringe. Just setting this way out to the, the green side. That looks good, and I tell you what, it is good. Who needs the, the scientific calculations, but... It's, I really appreciate the tips, guys, that everyone's saying early, try this for your pattern or, or try that. Any tips for me to improve, guys, I am really appreciated of it. Or should I say I really appreciate that. So six mile per hour wind, we can take on the, the left fairway here. You do have options. But this is the exact hole where I did get my error report. I've pushed that right. Does look like that's going to kick left, but are we going to find it? Oh, just by the skin of our teeth. Very lucky outcome there, guys. But this is a course you are going to need a bit of luck on. Trust me, you need a bit of luck to, to play this course well. So I've not actually played an approach shot into this green, but once again, quite in between clubs. I'm just trying to sting this up that slope, come up short, try and find the middle part of that slope. Slight push. Oh, I'm being really punished for that. I'm going to find the low side of the slope. That's going to be long now. I was trying to find the middle part, the thicker part of that slope there. And with that, we're long due to that slight push, right? We've actually trickled into the fringe. So 15 yards out. Oh, green's really aggressive. I am going to chip this. I normally put a slow or fast on these. There we go, slow. Should turn. And that's a very good chip shot there. It's going to leave us about a four foot putt for the part. So, the next part of the course now, guys, is completely new to me. Never played it. I was three under through six holes the previous time. I'm three under through seven. So, similar rounds. So, new territory for me now. Hole number eight, par three, playing 141 yards. It is the easiest hole in the course, so I'm really looking to, to pick up birdie here. It's playing 123 exactly with a firm green. Seven mile per hour, so we're going to have to loft up this pitching wedge. And hopefully that wind takes us round. I'm just trying to fire this right at the flag stick. It should stop very quickly. That wind's changed. It should stop very quickly for me, guys, due to the wind holding us up. And the amount of loft. Good strike. Absolute phenomenal strike. Hopefully this attacks the flag. It's right at it. Get in. Get in. Oh, what a golf shot that is. It does sit down. Not instantly, but sits down very, very quickly. And it should be about a six foot putt for the birdie. Six feet exactly. This one is going to move to the left. Just right edge. It does turn. And we do pick up another birdie. So, we move to four under par through the first eight holes. Going really well so far. Really enjoying the challenge. Especially in these conditions. But hole number nine, par five, 565 yards. Ooh, that looks like it's going to kick left here off the bunker. But I'm just looking to, to fade this round. I think I've got enough yardage to come over the top of that bunker, hopefully. Great execution. Oh, we've nailed this. We've nailed this. Please be nice. Oh, I really didn't expect a kick as firm as that. Being, oh, we're in the heavy rough. We could be in a bit of trouble here. And that's why I'm saying you need a bit of luck, guys. This course is going to be heavily influenced by your wind conditions as well and how you play that. But it's a fantastic course to play. I'm just trying to get this two iron as far down this fairway as possible. Try to fade it around the left-hand side of this tree. So aiming way left into the, the swamp. Good execution, swing starting to improve, there's a fade, and hopefully it's going to leave us a pitch. Might even be a flop shot, actually. Great recovery shot there, but can we pick up the birdie? Need to be scoring if you want to play well on this course. 
46 yards. Once again, kind of in between yardages for shot options. Just going to deal off this a touch. Try and catch the top of that slope. Oh, beautiful execution. Should sit down. Played that as well as we could have, I think. As you can see, the challenge on the greens is pulling away from the hole. Tough putt from nine feet. This is going to turn quite hard, right? Especially the first few feet. Just like that. Is it going to turn enough? Oh, that's a poor putt. Didn't turn anywhere near as much as I expected. And I just tapped that. But the pleasing thing is, guys, I am giving myself birdie opportunities. And we do pick up a solid part. Would have liked the birdie there. Course challenge completed. No hazard hole. Would have really liked the birdie there. But solid front nine. We are four under. Let's move on to hole number 10, par three, eh, par four, apologies, playing 343 yards, stroke index nine. So it looks like we can hit, oh, let's see, got options here, just going to try and, f oh, that tree's right in our way, I didn't even notice, wow, what a fantastic place tree there, very strategic. Can I fade this round here? Okay, I'm just having to think in the spot, guys, I'm going to try and fade this, extreme fade over the top of this tree and hopefully find the second fairway that you've seen in the the flyover. Decent execution. We've came over the top of the tree. Ah, oh, we're not going to find it. Not nowhere near enough yardage on the club. So lesson learned there. It's going to put us in a bit of a tricky situation. But loving the strategy in this. Oh, I do not like the look of this green. I think. Oh, it's out of bounds there. It's water. I'm going to have to go with it shot, guys. I don't know if I've got enough club due to the wind, but if we come back off the this green, we come back off it. Tell you what, though. Oh, no, it's way short. It's way short. Hopefully that does spin off the green. This could be a horrible part if it doesn't. Fortunately, it does, and that should be a flop shot. Let's see what we've got. 23 yards up four feet, seven miles. Certainly don't want to be short. So just lofting this up a touch. Rather be slightly long than short. Oh, that could be dunked. Oh, almost hit the flag stick. Didn't generate any spin back, so it could be a tricky putt just for the par. Very tricky putt. So nine feet down three inches. Hopefully I can read this part better than the, the previous birdie opportunity that we did have. Good weight should turn. It does turn. Fantastic putt. And we do somehow manage to save par there. It actually feels like a birdie after that great par save. But let's move on to hole number 11. This is the hardest hole on the course according to the stroke index. Par 4 playing 499. Oh... What do we do here? I ain't laying up, guys. I could probably easily take a, a two-iron hybrid layup in that first part of the fairway, but let's try and get as far down this fairway as possible. Just try to fade this round the tree. Need a good execution. Oh, it's not the best swing lines. Pushed it right yet. And w for some reason, guys, that slight push right really punishes me. Oh, you are kidding. <laughs> There you go, guys. That's what happens when you try to be aggressive in this course. Absolute fantastic, by the way. You couldn't make it up. Let's see how we can get out of this now. We are in all kinds of problems. All kinds of problems. I don't think I can go any... I'm going to have to go eight iron. I don't think seven iron is risky with the, the elevation. I'm going to have to fully fade this round and just see if we can get this onto the, the fairway. Should just about have enough loft in this club. I'd love to take a lower lofted club, but I don't think it's worth the risk. So we're fully lofting this 8 iron up. It's a very slow. Very slow has maybe come into my um, advantage there. Obviously, we've lost a bit of yardage due to that, but we are back out onto the fairway. We've got a pitch from 74 yards out, up 18 feet. Once again, an elevated plateaued green. Got an 8 mile per hour wind. I'm just going to almost fully loft up this lob wedge. I don't want to be long. 
just looking to get this as close to the pin as possible, but certainly don't want to be short, don't want to be long. Not the best of shots here. Decent execution. Is it going to bite? Oh, we are long. Oh, a little bit of backspin there, which is very rare. And we are going to have a, a tough putt, 15 footer, down 16 inches. This is just for the par save. That all came from that poor decision making on the tee box. Well, maybe not poor decision making. Oh, poor read. Yeah. Needs to stop sometime soon. I don't think it came down to poor decision making, actually. I'll be pure execution off the tee shot. So this for the bogey. Don't want to be getting a, a double bogey. It's a good line. Oh, a bit of redemption there on the greens from us. Unfortunately, we are dropping a shot. And we move back down to three under. Right, that's fired me up. Come on. I'm not swinging particularly well. I did say it. My swing slightly improved as the round went on. But hole number 12, long par three, playing 229 yards. Now that green is going to turn hard left. Surely. If we find that slope, that has got to turn left. So I'm going to have to deal off this two iron and play some draw. Just looking to land this right at the flag by about six yards. Hopefully it catches that slope at the back. What an execution. And filters left. Oh, we're bang on line, but is it going to catch it? It should catch that slope. Catch it. It should now turn. Is it? Come on. I'm not skipping this, guys, because I think this could be a worldie. This is now turning towards the green. What a shot that is, guys. And if you haven't already done so, please leave a like. Surely that shot is just worth a like for the entire video itself. And it has set up a birdie opportunity from six feet. Left edge, turns beautifully, and great way to bounce back after giving the course a shot back. And we do move back to four under par. Fantastic shot. Really happy with that one. Let's see if we can gain a bit of confidence. Hole number 13, par 4, playing 427 yards. This time the wind is behind us. We've got a 10 mile per hour wind. I would love to try and take that on, guys, but we don't have enough club. Two iron with that wind behind me. Looking to get as far over to the left-hand side of this fairway as possible. Swing is improving. Fortunately, it couldn't have got much worse. We do kick right over to that left-hand side. Good tee shot there. And that is going to leave us 143 yards, 10 mile per hour wind. Look at that green. We've got a bit of insurance policy if you are long. I am intending to use the the slope just slightly to the right here. Blofting up this pitching wedge. Just try to find this this slope. It looks like it should bring us back towards the flag. Needs to come down. Needs to come down. How's the bounce? Oh, look. Wow. And that's what annoys me. That is like bouncing in concrete. And I've missed the slope that I intended for. And we are going to have a really challenging putt now. I would much prefer the wind against me there, guys, because it sits the ball down quicker. But wow, bizarre bounce. <laughs> Very unrealistic. It's going to leave us a 15-foot putt. It's not going to turn, is it? That's two birdie opportunities that we've just, just missed out on. So I reckon I could, I could score well on this course if I played it a few times. It's like anything. Well, guys, it's the same with any course. You learn it. It's like Augusta. I'm confident that every time I play Augusta, I can shoot 10 under in any condition on any um, flag stick. But hole number 14. With that wind behind us, we can take on this second part of the fairway. Just looking to come over the top of this bog, this marsh, the swamp land. But absolute stunning course, guys. Really enjoying the challenge. It's a thinking man's course. It's strategy. A lot of it's down to luck as well. The conditions are going to dictate how you can and can't play shots. Good tee shot. Hopefully it holds the fairway. And that is going to be a monster drive. Just coming up short. The heavy rough on the left hand side there. So 111 yards up 16 feet. Got 11 mile per hour crosswind. Once again there's a slope there we can use. I'm looking to use that slope. That is definitely taking the ball right back to the flagstick. So Sam Wedge, 
Just lofting this up a touch. Great strike. We're bang on target. This should now come back. I tell you what, this has got a chance of going in the hole, surely. Come on. That's not coming back. Really expected that to filter back a lot better than what it did, guys. A nine foot putt down three inches. It's going to break aggressively the last two feet. Is it going to turn? Does turn. And we are rewarded with a birdie. And that takes us to five under par. Six birdies, one bogey. But the main thing is, really enjoying this course. There's a well-known uh, fast food takeaway restaurant there on our left-hand side, guys, as we do move on to hole 15. Monster par 5, playing 646 yards. Second easiest hole. Do you have options? I'm going to try and keep to the right-hand side here. Going to have to play a touch of draw here. Just try to hug this left-hand side of the fairway. Decent outcome. Draw should keep us stable. It does. Looks like this is going to kick forward, not to the side. Fantastic tee shot. Certainly not going to be reaching this in two. Well, let's see what we've got to work with with the second shot. Now, well, we maybe can't reach it. No, we can't. No, we can't. I'm just trying to play bunker here, guys. I'm looking to hit this bunker, bang in line with that flag stick and leave me a flop shot. As long as I'm not right up against the face here. Absolute laser beam. Absolute laser beam. Please don't be plugged. We do kick out. Not hard up against that face. And we should be able to get up and down for the birdie here. All going well. 19 yards. 80 to 88%. I'm just fully loft in this. Should check up fairly quickly. Should bounce and sit. Reluctantly sat down. But it's going to give us a putt from about 4 to 5 feet. Hopefully we can convert this for... Another birdie and go six under. Five footer, breaking hard right. Playing this fairly firm though. Good read, good putt. And we are starting to get a bit of consistency to the swing now in this back nine. Let's move on to hole number 16. Three holes to play. So long par four, playing 522 yard stroke index seven. Got a seven mile per hour win behind me here. Aiming this down the right hand side of the fairway. Wind should bring us back round to the left. Laser beam. Wind's doing exactly that. But guys, look at the detail in the water in the swamp land. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure if the designer will stop by here. I've never... I've played one of his courses. Was it Frigiliana, Spain? I didn't put, I put it up to the, the, the channel because everyone had played that like this. But clearly a talented designer, guys. Very creative. But I'd love to know how you achieved all the detail with the marsh and the, 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 the colour changes in the water because it is superb. Oh, I'm long. Try to just catch that slope there. Really didn't expect that long. Wow. I really didn't expect to be past that slope. Tried to, to use that slope to our advantage. Just that one there and hold the green. We failed to do that. So this is going to be a tough chip shot. Just setting this way left. Ball should hopefully run up. It's one foot down. Great execution. Go on, keep going. Ah, oh, checked up a lot quicker than I had liked. That's going to leave us. A four foot putt. Just going left edge. Playing this with pace. We do walk away with the par. So let's move on to the penultimate hole. Of the Predator at UF. Fantastic course, guys. It's like a game of chess. Very strategic. Like I say, you need a bit of luck um, on this course if you want to shoot low. Don't think I've had much luck this round, to be honest. But really happy with the way I've played it so far. Two wood. Just looking to come up short. Find that slope. The green should turn left here. What a shot. Should come up short of the slope. There's a kick left. It may turn slightly back. But what a fantastic shot, guys. Played that to perfection. We really have played some cracking shots today. So nine feet, up two inches. This one's going to turn 
fairly quickly to the right last few feet. Need it to turn. Oh, it does turn. Good putt. We do pick up birdie number eight. We are seven under for the round. And we do move on to the final hole, which is going to be a par five. 606 yard stroke in the next 15. But wow, guys. So, so impressed with my first full round of this course. Just hope I don't get an error report now. Fingers crossed. But we've got a 10 mile per hour wind in our face. So we're not going to get a huge drive here. Oh, early. Please don't be bunkered. How's our luck? Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. The wind really helping us out there. We were never reaching this in two. I don't think you'd reach this in three, even if that 11 mile per hour wind was with me. Let's see. Two wood. No, well, the out of bounds is up in the right. This wind should hold us to the right. Ball's going to move slightly to our feet or our left. Good strike. Oh, that wind's not taking me back. This could be trouble, guys. We're going to be in that heavy rough. Are we in the water? No. Can't believe that wind just didn't angle me back. That slope at our feet, despite saying it was green, must have been more punishing than what it suggested. This is tough once again. Going to do well to get birdie out of this, but just looking to get this out here. Don't know if we've got the legs to get up, but that 11 mile per hour wind will hold us up. Ball's going to go hard left. 79 to 86. Just looking to get this up on the green. Pushed it right. We've hacked it out. Tell you what. Oh, no, it sat down quickly. It's going to be a tough part. This actually may come off the green, is it? Oh, wow. Fortunately, it probably better outcome than it has. So, disappointed that unless this goes in, we're not going to be walking away with a birdie. Didn't play great, guys, the first few holes. Well, I say that. My swing line. Let's, be, let's say the swing line wasn't great. I didn't get the rub of the green that I think you need to shoot low here. Double figures low. Great flop shot. But we should be tapping this in for a par save. And we are going to finish well the round with a par. Seven under, which should be a 65. But there you go, guys. Absolutely love my round at the Predator at UF, the Dark Souls of the Golf. But if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.